Shalaki, Shalaki, my phone got cut off, but we back in it, right? I don't got too many more precepts, but the Lord wants you. Let me read that again. Jeremiah 4 and 4. Circumcise your cells to the Lord and take away the foreskins of your heart. You men of Judah, inhabitants of Jerusalem, lest my fury come like fire and burn like that none can quench it because of the evil of your doings. Right. So the Lord wants you to change your ways and change your mindset, man. Right. Fix your mindset. That's what the Lord is basically telling you, man. Because, yeah, you cannot commit adultery. Right. Physically. Right. Yeah, you cannot. Uh, uh, um. Hate your, uh, show hatred to your brother physically by hurting him or whatever. But if you hate in your mind, right? If you come in, if you looking at a woman and lusting after her in your mind, guess what? Your heart's not circumcised to the Lord, man. Right? It's just not. All right, let's go to Romans chapter two and verse twenty-five. It's Romans chapter two and verse twenty-five. For circumcision verily profiteth if that if you if you keep the law, but if you be a breaker of the law, that circumcision is made uncircumcision. So yeah, if you physically circumcise and keep the law, you have the faith of Yahweh shot, and you physically circumcise, yeah, it barely profits you, right? But if you break in the law and you circumcise, what profit is that? What are you gaining from that circumcision? Because it didn't change your ways at all. It didn't change your mindset. But if you circumcise and you keep in the law, yeah, it barely profited. That's what Paul is saying. Verse twenty six. Therefore, if the uncircumcision, it's lucky. For uh, therefore, if the uncircumcision keep the righteousness of the law, so if you uncircumcise but you keep the laws of the Most High, then what? Shall not his uncircumcision be counted for circumcision? So is that man that he uh, uh, um that that Gentiles, right, of a uh, northern kingdom, right, or it, uh, or let's say he a Judite, right? He never been circumcised, right? He come from the southern kingdom. But hey, if he keeps the laws in the Most High and had the faith of Yahweh Shah, guess what? His circumcision is made uncircumcision. Just by the way, uh, I mean, your, his uncircumcision is made circumcision. Just by the way, if you circumcise and you not keeping the law, your circumcision is made uncircumcision. All right? And it says, And shall not uncircumcision, which is by nature, if it fulfill the law, judge thee, who by the letter in circumcision doest transgress the law? For he is not a Jew, which is... Our, one outwardly so just because you are israelite born flesh and blood right you may be an ethnic jew you may know you as an israelite you may know you hebrew but that doesn't mean anything right that doesn't mean anything and it says it's not outwardly it's inwardly and it says neither is that circumcision which is outward in the flesh but he is a jew which is one inwardly so that's not saying that anybody can just be a jew now you still have to be you still have to be a jew by blood right but then you have to be circumcised right inwardly mom right spiritually and it says that of the heart in the spirit and not in the letter whose praise is not of men but of the most high so if you're a jew if you know you're an israelite or right, you may never have been circumcised before right but if you keep in the righteousness of the law guess what now you're a jew inwardly now right now you spiritually circumcised because you for circumcised the foreskin of your heart mom right that's the point of it all all right so you got to be spiritually circumcised, man. That's what we need to do. So every day, you know, you may have these wicked thoughts. You may have these wicked ideas. But guess what? You got to cast. Let me go to say I quoted it earlier in the first part of the video. But let me get it now. This is 2 Corinthians. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 5. Casting down imaginations. And every high thing exalt that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Hamashiach. All right, so you have to bring in captivity your thoughts, man, because your thoughts can be wicked. You may have looked upon a woman and lusted after you, like, damn, I can't do that, right? Hey, if you look at a woman, guess what? And you know that those thoughts are about to come. You got to revert your eyes, right? Or you better think about something. Think about a precept, or you better think about something other than lusting after that woman, man, right? You gotta change the way you think. You gotta change the way you do. That's being spiritually circumcised, man. Right? Hey, because you have brothers in Galatia trying to get other brothers to be circumcised. All right? Let me go to Galatians chapter six. Right? They, hey, they were Jews. They knew they were Jews, and they were circumcised, but they weren't keeping the law. But hey, to feel better about themselves, they got on the Gentiles. Right? The Northern Kingdom. Right? Those that didn't know, they said, "Oh, for for you to be a Jew, you have to be physically circumcised." That's not true at all, because Yahweh shall put away all of that, and Paul's going to tell you. This is Galatians chapter 6 and verse 12. As many as desire to make a fair show in the flesh, they constrain you to be circumcised. Only least they should suffer persecution for the cross of Hamashiach. 
for neither they sell for neither they themselves who are circumcised keep the law so they want you to be circumcised to say oh you're not a jew but hey they don't even keep the law themselves and it says but desire to have you circumcised that they may glory in your flesh they was trying to glory in other brothers flesh man trying to say i'm better than them right they, i'm better than you right and it says but God forbid that I should glory save in the cross of our Lord Yahushua Mashiach, by whom the world is crucified unto me and I unto the world. For in Yahushua Mashiach, neither circumcision availeth anything nor uncircumcision, but a new creature. Right? So it doesn't matter if you physically circumcised or, un or, or physically uncircumcised, man. What matters to Yahushua is that, you, that you're a new creature, that you're a new brother, that you turn from your evil ways. You turn from your evil things, man. Yeah, you may slip at point in time, but then you strive it to still become that new person that you are, that you're dead to those sins. Right? Let me go to Colossians chapter 3 and 5. Colossians 3 and 8. All right, it's Colossians chapter 3 and verse 10. And have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. So you have to be renewed in knowledge, right? And it says, verse 11, where there is neither Greek nor Jew. So it doesn't matter if you're northern kingdom or southern kingdom. Circumcision nor uncircumcision, right? So it doesn't matter if you're physically circumcised or physically uncircumcised. Barbarian, Scythian, yes, dad. Barbarian, Scythian, bond, nor free, but Hamashiach is all and in, in all. So Yahweh Shah is in uh, uh, is going to be in you if you um, are spiritually circumcised and you and you and you're renewed in that knowledge, man. All right. So that's what we got to do, man. We got to be spiritually circumcised, right? The video wasn't too long, right? I just uh, like to give our praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah and like to bid a mighty, mighty strong shalom.